Let's talk to Alessio Rostani. He is the founder and CEO of LeadingTrader.com. Very good morning to you, Alessio. Thanks for having me. Right, Great. two slides on the yeah. S&P 500. Let's kick off the first one, a daily chart and a yeah. weekly chart. What are your observations? Well, here's an interesting one. I mean, I was over in the States uh, just a few weeks ago during the Christmas period, and I remember that everybody was shocked at the momentum Behind. I mean, I, I think pretty much everybody can agree. Nobody was expecting this. Uh, essentially, what, what this is being called, I'm sure you've heard this yourself, Nick, uh, which is being called the melt up. So uh, the huge momentum move on the stock markets, not just the S&P, but the Dow. We've seen it happening even on the FTSE and, the, and even on the German market as well. The DAX, yep. Yeah, the DAX. So S&P, I mean, um, has been up now. So far this year, just from the, if you go from the start of January, it's been up approximately about 5%, uh, it's five, maybe 5.5%. Five and, and I think very likely uh, the pattern which repeats itself almost every year whenever we see gains in the stock market is that yep. the first um, initial gains of the year usually get wiped out. So even uh, we've seen this many, happening many times. If, they, if the markets are up about 2%, 5%, whatever, they, the market usually has a strong correction wiping out those gains, but usually they recover. So I think, look, uh, we're up about five and five and a half percent. I think very likely. I mean, this market, uh, <laughs> nobody can disagree with this. This market is well overdue for a correction. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, I heard back in December that they were saying on the news this market's overdue for a correction. And I thought that the sun, when I heard the news saying, oh, this market's going to correct itself, I thought, okay, it's going to do the opposite. Whenever the news media says something is going to happen, the market does the opposite. So that's what we've seen so far. So far, We've been, almost everybody's been wrong. The markets have rallied strongly, but I think we're coming very close now to, to some in, initial levels of resistance, and I think there's gonna be some uh, weakness coming through. Some, I'm not even expecting a strong selling at this point. I think two paths are likely here. Firstly, I wanna, I wanna draw everyone's attention to where we are relative to the 200 moving average, which is that green line on the chart there. That's a 2,500 in the S&P. I mean, one of the things that I, 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 one of the things that's been mentioned is this is the first, one, one of the first times in history where the market has uh, exponentially moved so far away from its 200 moving average. And we haven't even tested that 200 moving average for months. Now, I'm not saying we, we have to necessarily go all the way down, but I think it's, you know what, there's some likelihood that we might at least move some way towards it. Okay. So if we see a correction, yep. which is likely, Nick, uh, I think that we're likely to see two paths. Again, if we just go to that chart, I think that we could see either the red path at the red arrow or the green arrow. The red arrow shows that we might see a correction down to the blue line. That's the 21 average, of 27.60 a small bounce, and then it move further down to 2680 and maybe even to 2640, okay? If we see further selling, yes, eventually, not necessarily too soon, <coughs> but eventually we might see a move down to 200 moving average, which will be a great buying point at that point. The second scenario, the green path of Joan, the green arrow, is that we might see a small pullback followed by another push higher. Again, that's also likely. This market has been, you know, pretty much crazy and doing what, it's, what it wants. We might see another push up higher to maybe 2880 before finally another a corrective move. Cool back. Yeah, and I think, look, uh, seasonally, February, this period tends to be rather weak for stocks. It has gone against the seasonal trend so far. So as, I just want to show you one more slide there. Um, our own algorithmic, um, this is our, our own algorithm, which we designed. Because of the power and the strength in the stock market, you can see our automated algorithm has done quite nicely as well. So everything's on the buy and everything's yeah. in the low. Absolutely. Almost you can see a majority of the winners here have been the stock markets, S&P, NASDAQ, the Wall Street, that's the Dow, the Germany 30. They've done really great. Uh, even the Euro and the Aussie has done as well. So as you can see, this, this momentum has really benefited our algorithms as well. So I just want to mention that as well. Even, even Bitcoin here as well. Right. Uh, well. But yeah, so that's what I got. And um, uh, so I th hopefully that's going to help your folks and your, your viewers. Bless you. Thank you very much indeed.